The Lagos State Government will leave no stone unturned in ensuring that the state is rid of all forms of domestic and sexual-based violence. To this end, the Domestic and Sexual Violence Agency, DSVA, in partnership with the State Police Command, staged an advocacy walk in Ikorodu recently to sensitize residents. Correspondent Love Ikuku Oyedoku tells us more in this report. It is an advocacy work on sexual and gender-based violence in Ikorodu. It is part of activities to mark Gender and Sexual Violence Month. The month of September is designed to further push the advocacy against the vices to all local governments across legal states. The exercise is aimed at enlightening the residents on why they should not engage in any form of sexual and gender-based violence. <laughs> Titi Lola Vaivo Adeniyi is the executive secretary of DSVA. She warns that anyone caught engaging in any form of domestic and sexual-based violence will face the wrath of the law. For the past four or five years, Ikorodu has been one of the top five uh, local governments with highest prevalence of domestic violence, sexual violence, and child abuse. Ikorodu, light has come. We want you to know that there is help for you. We want you to know that you should not suffer in silence. In Ikorodu, we have at least three divisions. We have at least two designated police stations where you can report cases to. You can report to Igbo FSU, you can report to a WUTU FSU, and ultimately you can report to the gender desk located in the Lagos State Police Command. The most important thing is to break the culture of silence, speak up and speak out. Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Idowu Owohunwa, who was represented by the Deputy Commissioner of Police, Salihu Usman, noted that statistics shows sexual and gender-based violence incidences are on the downward trend in Lagos. I've seen that the people of Lagos State in general are now understanding the essence of establishing a very sound family. Family is the, back, is the backbone of a society. Without a sound family, you cannot have a civilized society. So that is why Lagos State government see it as a priority to see that they eradicate the issues of gender-based violence. Participants at the work included senior and junior police officers, lawyers, child protection organizations, members of the community development associations, staff of the domestic and sexual violence agency. Love Oyeduku, Plus TV News. To address the issue of early marriage and violence against women in northern Nigeria, a group Global Peace Development International has urged communities, traditional and religious leaders to rise against the scourge. They made the call at a sensitization campaign in some local communities in Kaduna State. To change duty bearers, traditional rulers, religious rulers, community inhabitants, perception and mindset against harmful cultural norms that lead to that lead to sexual and gender-based, or that promote sexual and gender-based violence in community, and to also prevent and address cultural norms to local government that will choose Chukun and Jema local government, and then the four communities under this local government. The uh, gender, sexual and gender-based issue is at the increasing rate. Trying to see how we can create awareness to educate the public to also know their rights and to also how in terms of reporting cases of sexual and gender based in the community. Early marriage, they, they, they consider it as an old custom and that they, they don't want to leave it. Some cultures are affecting women by saying, I let the woman go to farm. Okay, you ask woman to go to farm. She came back, she, she take care of you, the husband, she take care of the children, at the same time do the uh, needful for the household. Then how do you expect it to go? Somebody cannot just carry it. So at least let us show uh, sympathy to our women. Let's look at those cultures that are not uh, uh, proper because we are, we are civilized now. 
Now that civilization at least make us to understand that those cultures that are not, uh, that are harmful, let us take them away and do the needful and do the right thing. On their part, the religious and traditional rulers vowed that any member of the communities found violating girls in their society will face the law. Cultures and norms have drawn many community, community backward. There are many things that, that speak against or destroy our life, our wives, our children, the community entirely. There are simple things that we can do to help us move forward. But because of those cultures that we stick to, we don't accept change in our community. We don't want to go with the type of system that is moving today. We support to follow what uh, our Christianity has been teach us because uh, Christianity and Muslim, they never say we should do all this kind of marriage. I shout to my community to let them stop doing all this kind of quick marriage. It is not good. Let their children know when they are immature. It will be a punishment, really. Anybody who found in my community by that, I will carry him to my district hedge. After my district hedge, my district hedge will carry the person to the father, even to the human rights. Because they were able to identify the problems and also gives us solution on how to deal with gender-based violence and also the hardship melted on women sitting at home and the women are meant to go out and bring, provide for the family. Problems they brought up are what we are facing in our community and they brought up also solutions. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.